1. Defense holds the fort in a game that was going to be tighter than most Bills fans anticipated, the Buffalo defense held firm to keep the game tied in the first half. With Buffalo's offense sputtering and lacking rhythm, the Bills defense kept Miami's offense under wraps. After Dolphins kicker Jason Sanders missed a 36-yard field goal attempt to leave Miami without any points on their opening drive, Buffalo held its division rival to just a field goal on their next seven possessions covering the next two quarters. Third down stops proved critical over the second and third quarters. Following a Mario Addison sack on a second and 15 that set up a third and 20, Ed Oliver got pressure on Tua Tagovailoa to force an incompletion and ultimately a punt. Oliver and Hyde combined on a tackle for loss on Miles Gaskin to drop him for a loss on a third and two to force a 51-yard field goal attempt to keep the game tied at three early in the second quarter. When sudden change happens, our offense has to punt or something like that, we just answer the call. I don't feel like it was any pressure or we panicked or anything. It was just like, you've got to go play defense. That's what they pay us to do. So we went out there and played. Late in the half Buffalo did get some help. Backed up on their own 12-yard line on a third and five, Miami tame Mike Gusicki in motion right to left crossed behind the center as he snapped the ball and it caromed off his leg into the left flat. Michael Hyde recovered the loose ball and returned at 16 yards with 11 seconds left in the half. Really in that situation, field goals and takeaways are what we are thinking about. Obviously if they got a field goal, they'd get the ball coming out in the second half up 6-3. But us being able to get that takeaway there late in the, first, half, really killed a lot of the momentum that they thought they had.